Hey y'all, I'm gonna make some fire cider today if y'all wanna come along with me. I harvested horseradish the other day, so I already got that rinsed off and ready in the fridge. But I'm gonna go down here and get some beauty berries and I'm gonna pick some rosemary. This is American Beauty Berry. Um, tons of antioxidants and vitamin C. The leaves are a great um, anti-mosquito repellent that you can make some, um, put it in, soak it in rubbing alcohol and have you a good little repellent. But I'm just gonna go ahead and pick out some of these berries. Some of the birds have already been eating on them. So I'm definitely gonna leave some for the birds, but I'm gonna take some too. I'm gonna have to put the phone down so I can get these. I got a little bit of time going down here, so I'm just gonna grab up a little bit. I think this is lemon. It is. It's lemon time. I'm just gonna grab up some of this. Fire cider is really good to take as a preventative if you just feel like you're starting to get sick, allergies are bothering you, or you feel like a cold or flu is coming on because it's got um, tons of vitamins and antioxidants. And we're going to put some other stuff in it too, like cinnamon. And uh, if you have oregano, I put oregano in it. I don't think the oregano made it through. I think the chickens ate it all. But I'm going to go over here and grab some rosemary. I have a tiny, tiny bit of oregano right here. So. I'm just gonna grab this little twig and then that should leave enough for it to, to grow back. So I just grabbed up I just grabbed up this little bit and I'm gonna walk over here to the rosemary. And then I got this rosemary. I'm just gonna go ahead and clip off this tallest part. That way too it'll branch out. You can see where I've already cut on it. And everywhere you cut it splits off into more than one little branch. So I'm gonna cut this off so it'll start growing up a little bit more, a little bit more bushier. I'm also going to take one of these walking onions over here. I'm going to add that in there too. I've got to be careful now what we talk about on here because they like to ban creators to try to give you information that you need. So I'm just going to show you what ingredients that I put in mine and you can do your own research on why. All right, we got a half gallon mason jar. I'm just gonna start packing it full with some of the stuff that we harvested as well as some of the stuff I picked up at the grocery store. I got some little nubbins of ginger. I'm gonna cut it up and put it in this mason jar. I got some turmeric. I'm gonna take about this much, chop it up and put it in here. Be careful because turmeric will stain. Got this. This is some horseradish root that I harvested out of the yard. So I'm gonna go ahead and just chop this up too and put it in there. And then here's that walking onion. I'm gonna put the greens in there too. If you're not growing walking onions, this is one of the best and easiest things that you can grow to always have some sort of food. Um, they'll just grow and grow and grow. They'll start walking around your yard. It's kind of one of those things you plant once and you don't need to plant again. I can do a more in-depth video on them if y'all want. I also got a lemon. You want some sort of citrus. Just gonna chop it up and put it all in there. That's what we're looking like so far. Got the beauty berry. These, oops. these are the beauty berries that I got from the yard. Or the rosemary, the oregano. I'm gonna rinse this off real quick. More rosemary. This is the lemon thyme. Lemon thyme. More rosemary, more lemon thyme. Get that in there. Got a head of garlic going in there too. I'm gonna separate all the cloves and break them open. I'm not gonna worry about too much about peeling them completely or anything like that. But I do want to break them open so that the goodness inside the garlic will be released. Lastly, I'm going to put two jalapenos in there. I waited till last so I could wash my hands and not have this hot on me. I'm going to go ahead and split them in two. Alright. That's what we're looking like now. I'm going to top this off with some raw apple cider vinegar. And then we're going to put a tea, tea towel on top. And I'm going to let this sit for about four to six weeks. And then drain everything off. And then we'll start taking this by the shot glass every morning to get us through um, cold and flu season. All right, there she is, our fire cider served for the year. 
As always, y'all got some questions, just let me know. I'll see y'all later.